Mikael Bridges has directly addressed the New York Knicks rumors, and we have to talk about this. So what's up, guys? Welcome back to Knicks Digest. It's Chris here, and we're going to jump right into the video as we always do, because Mikael Bridges has recently addressed the rumors between him and the New York Knicks and the comments that Josh Hart made regarding Mikael Bridges playing for the Brooklyn Knicks, while all of his friends we won championships with and Dante DiVincenzo, Jalen Brunson, and Josh Hart all play for the Crosstown New York Knicks the better team that has fans. So let's just jump right into it and break it down. As you may have seen a few days ago, Josh Hart made a hilarious connection to this situation where essentially he said that it's like the SpongeBob meme when Squidward is looking out the window and he sees SpongeBob and Patrick having fun. Mikhail is Squidward. So what he's saying there is it's like that meme where Squidward's looking out the window, SpongeBob and Patrick are having fun. And it's usually just alluded to something along the lines of, like, someone's watching from the outside looking in, even if they are on the, or even if Squidward is on the inside of that meme. But essentially, Nick's, Nick's Muse posted about it, and he already posted this around six months back, and he said, great minds think alike, Josh Hart. And then, obviously, he tweeted out, the choice is yours, and it has DiVincenzo Hart and Jalen Brunson, obviously, outside, while Mikael Bridges watches, kind of just sitting out, missing out on all the fun while he plays for the Brooklyn Nets, who have 26 wins on the season as we are deep into March. So, obviously, Bridges probably does not want to play for the Brooklyn Nets if he could play for the New York Knicks, as the Nets don't even have their own draft pick this year. Essentially, when they made that trade with the Rockets to land James Harden, the Rockets bet on this failing, and it failed miserably. The Rockets will be getting a lottery pick from the Brooklyn Nets this year, which is going to help them out. Which is going to help them out a ton, and it's going to hurt the Nets because it essentially means the Nets, which who really would only have one option with this team, which is blow it up, get as many draft picks as possible, and try to con and try to just rebuild. They can't even do that because they traded away all their picks, and recently. They were offered a trade, and by recently, I mean before the season, they were offered a trade to basically send Mikhail Bridges to the Rockets for Jalen Green and the Nets picks back, and the Nets said no. I don't know why. Maybe Sean Marks just has no idea what he's doing and stumbled into KD and Kyrie, but clearly this has just gone so poorly for Mikhail and the Nets, and Mikhail Bridges addressed these rumors between the Knicks, the Nets, and obviously what Josh Hart had to say, and he... He was asked, did you happen to see Josh Hart's comments about the other day regarding Spongebob? Mikhail said, you know that's Josh, right? Jalen's not saying anything. It's just Josh. That's who he is. He's going to say jokes like that. He knows he's going to get everyone riled up. Now, Mikhail Bridges was one of the first guests to ever be on Brunson and Hart's podcast, The Roommates. And when they kind of asked Mikhail about playing for the Nets and just the New York Knicks, Josh Hart took off his jacket and showed that he was wearing a New York Knicks shirt, which Mikhail audibly laughed at. I mean, again, he knows what it is. Josh Hart is openly tampering to bring Mikhail Bridges to the New York Knicks, but he can get away with it because the two are friends. It can come across as jokes because part of it is jokes. Josh Hart knows that if Mikhail Bridges ever went up to him as his friend and was like, Yo, man, I understand what you're doing. It's I get that it's funny and all that, but I'm not going to end up on the Knicks. It's pissing me off. Could you please stop? Josh Hart, being Mikhail's friend, would probably stop doing it and be like, I hear you. Totally cool. So clearly, Mikhail Bridges is fine with all this happening. He finds it funny. It's his friend doing it. And also because Mikhail Bridges clearly wants to play for the New York Knicks. I mean, if you ask the Mikhail, hey, there can be zero consequences to this action. But would you rather play for the New York Knicks or the Brooklyn Nets? He'd be like, I want to play for the Knicks. You think when him, Hart, DiVincenzo, Brunson are hanging out, Mikhail's never once said, dude, I wish I was on the Knicks with you guys contending for something real for a championship instead of in a place that no one even crowds up, gets no fans, we lose all the time, there's no structure to this team, we fired our coach, our GM has no idea what's going on, our owner doesn't care. I can't stand being here when all you guys are out over there. This sucks. He definitely has alluded to that before with his friends behind closed doors when no cameras are on. He's maybe texted about it. Who knows? There's just no way that he hasn't. I refuse to believe that Mikhail Bridges would rather play for the, Net than, for the Nets than the Knicks. I mean, if I put myself in my position, I'd be like, damn, this sucks, man. All my friends get to go on these trips together, get to play for the Knicks and get love from all the city. And I'm on the Nets, and 95% of the time when fans come up to me, 
It's either right outside of a Nets game when I'm seeing Nets fans, or it's Knicks fans who are coming up to me, showing me so much love because they understand the situation at hand. They know where I want to be. Knicks fans are smart. They're not bumbling around like, oh yeah, Mikael Bridges doesn't want to be on the Knicks. They know he does. We all do know where Mikael Bridges wants to be. It's a matter of getting him here, and that is difficult Though it is possible, and part of the way it has to become possible is for Mikhail Bridges to make this real. He's done a great job being the franchise player for the Nets and not really addressing this that much, though he has mentioned it in the past. As he kind of brought the Knicks up unprompted one time and basically was asked about his confidence in the future of the Nets, and somehow the Knicks infiltrated the answer, as it says here, and he said, I know people might want to think about different situations and teams. Obviously, I've got my boys over there in New York. So everybody goes with that and then kind of trailed off. And then basically the rest of his answer was about how he wasn't a quitter. He said he's not cut from that cloth that when he was brought up, you don't leave once times get tough. And he said he wants to stick it out with the Nets despite the losing and the turnover in Brooklyn. It's the stuff you'd expect because Mikhail Bridges isn't going to be interviewed about it and be asked about the Nets' future. He's like, well... The Nets traded for James Harden after getting KD and Kyrie. They gave all of their assets to the Rockets. So now when we lose, the Rockets just get better. I couldn't care less about the Rockets personally as someone for, who's from Philadelphia and now is playing for the Brooklyn Nets. All my friends are on the Knicks. And I'm stuck here with a team that has zero, zero idea what they're doing. They don't know the direction they're going in. They don't know heads or tails of anything. I'd rather be on the Knicks. Why would he not say that? Because that's bad for business. It's bad for Mikhail. And that's the way for people to think, oh, yeah, he's not a true whatever the hell. No, he just can't be honest. As much as it probably, as we would say, honesty is the best policy. Though, in interviews, that's not always the case. If you're an NBA player, you don't want to screw things up. And he also, I don't think he has too many problems with the Nets. I don't think he's thinking, God, I wish I could just be on any other team. I don't think that's what he's thinking. He's from the Northeast, so he's probably thinking to himself, well, at least I'm near home, at least I'm near Philly. So like, And also, there's a good chance he might rather play for the 76ers than the Knicks. Like, I'm not saying that he just is waiting for the day to put on this sweatshirt and not this exact sweatshirt. I don't want Mikhail Bridges stealing my clothes. That'd be weird. Don't do that, Mikhail. You freak. No, but in all seriousness, like... <sighs> that was so stupid. Um... <laughs> In all seriousness, I would imagine Mikhail Bridges would rather play for the Knicks or 76ers or probably even the Celtics over the Brooklyn Nets, but I don't think he has too many problems with the Nets, and he's definitely not going to give that boring interview answer. And I mean, Mikhail, if you look here, Bobby Marks has kind of given some insider thought into this, and also he was once the assistant GM for the Brooklyn Nets a while back, not under the Mikhail Bridges days, but he did say... That he kind of suggested that Bridges gets traded for Quentin Grimes back before Grimes got traded and Devin Fournier for the contract reasons and at five future first round picks. And he quoted it and said, what if, what happens if one morning Knicks president Leon Rose picks up the phone and calls Sean Marks to offer him an unprecedented five first round picks in Quentin Grimes? That's two more firsts than the Cleveland Cavaliers sent to the Utah Jazz for all-star Donovan Mitchell. Would Marks politely decline since the thought of Bridges in a Knicks uniform would be tough to stomach? Maybe he'd get bold and ask for even more. The Knicks can trade up to a total for eight firsts. Now, the Knicks definitely shouldn't be trading more than five firsts for Mikhail Bridges. I think five is a little egregious. Though I do think that if they could land Mikhail Bridges and say for even five firsts, two unprotected, three protected, or maybe two unprotected, two protected, one swap, and then you give Boyan Bogdanovich for the contract reasons just to match it up, give the Nets $20 million in cap space upcoming. Do the Nets say yes? I don't know. Probably not, but maybe. It depends on what the market is for Mikhail. If they can get, they're just going to go for whatever the best deal they can get for Mikhail if they decide they do want to trade him. Though it's also highly unlikely they do because they're holding on to him as the last piece of that Kevin Durant debacle. And I think that kind of gives incentive to not make a move. But that's stupid and they just totally should anyway because the Knicks have a ton of picks that aren't even their own so they wouldn't have to bank on the Knicks being bad after giving the Knicks the perfect team when you could trot out a lineup of Brunson, Bridges, OG, Randall, and Isaiah Hartenstein with Mitch off the bench with Josh Hart and Dante DiVincenzo and Deuce McBride off the bench having the deepest team in the NBA one of the best teams in the NBA and a team that I think would probably win the 2025 NBA finals if I'm being honest 
because the world, the NBA has gone back to a two all-star format and a good team around them. The Nuggets had one all-star in Jokic. Yes, Jamal Murray's probably the best player in the NBA to never make an all-star team outside of maybe Wembenyama, but Wemby's a rookie, so that's a little bit different. I truly, truly think that this would be a tough trade to make for the Brooklyn Nets, but if they want the most value for Mikhail Bridges, it probably comes from the Knicks because they probably value him the highest. So it would be something the Nets would have to internally think about. I talked about a lot of this already two days ago, so I'm not going to dig really deep into it, but I will just throw up his stats right there because he is putting up 20 points per game with five rebounds and four assists as a first option. He's shooting around 36.5% from three while shooting 44% from the field. And his PER is still league average despite the fact that the Nets are brutal. So clearly, Mikhail Bridges, we know he's a great player. Is he an all-star level player? Probably not, but he's basically the next tier below. And we do know one thing, he's one of the best defenders in the NBA. Having Mikhail and OG on the wings would be absolutely insane. It would make for one of the best defenses in NBA history, especially perimeter-wise. And I do think this is a team that could win the finals. So hopefully the Knicks can get this done. Do whatever it takes to get Mikhail Bridges. I don't see any other star that's really becoming available. So I think he's the guy you take a swing for because there's the biggest chance at it. Unless something happens in the playoffs and a big star does become available, then do that. I don't know. I think either of these scenarios work where you can get him or you can get a player better. But the Knicks don't need necessarily a third star player. I think Brunson can be the best player on one of the deepest teams in the NBA to win to for the Knicks to win the finals. The, the Celtics are good, but they're thin, especially when it comes to big men and their bench is not great. 76ers are just never going to have Joel Embiid healthy. And then outside of that, the Bucks have their problems. No team in the West is perfect. The Knicks could absolutely make this trade and win the NBA Finals in 2025. Hopefully that happens. Comment your thoughts down below. Like this video. Subscribe to Knicks Digest. Tell Mikael Bridges to not sit, steal Chris Gallagher's sweatshirt if you ever run into him on the street. He'll be like, what? And then just respond with go to the Knicks. Guys, have a great day. And go Knicks. And Mikael Bridges. We love Mikael Bridges.